Hello everyone, cutting in door hinges with a chisel and a hammer is still used today, but it takes a lot of time. When doing this job by hand, the precision in the job, the sharp edge lines and the depth of the groove are sometimes poor. And if the chisel goes well and as expected on the wood, then when working with MDF, for example, it is much better to use a milling cutter. For quick insertion of hinges, I decided to make a so-called template for a manual milling machine, with which you can quickly and accurately make a groove for the hinge both in the door leaf and in the box. For my own purposes, for work, I use a universal milling machine with a copying sleeve installed on it. For the construction of the jig, I used plywood and wooden blocks. The first thing I did was calculate the internal dimensions of the conductor window for a specific milling machine, taking into account the diameter of the cutter used, the external diameter of the copying sleeve and the size of the loop. For this, I determined that it is more convenient for me to milling the grooves for the hinges with a not very narrow cutter. I took a cutter with a diameter of 10 mm as a standard. Because the wider the cutter, the less movement you need to make. In the corners where the cutter is missing, I remove the excess with a chisel. Then, having installed a copy sleeve on my milling machine, I measure the distance from the cutter to the working edge of the copy sleeve. In my case, the distance was 5 mm. Now, it became clear that when calculating the dimensions of the inner window of the template, I need to add 5 mm to each side. With a 100 by 30 mm hinge size, I have to make a 110 by 40 mm window. I must say right away that the size of the copying sleeve on different models of milling machines may differ, so blindly following my guide is wrong, check your dimensions and make the correct calculations. Having marked out a 110 by 40 mm rectangle on a sheet of plywood, I cut out the window using an electric jigsaw. Then, from the underside of the template, sliding the block into the window by 5 mm, I screw it to the plywood. The block will serve as a side stop when installed on a door or frame. On the narrow sides of the window, along the bar, I fasten strips of plywood, they are needed for the stable position of the conductor on the door frame. As a matter of fact, that's all, a simple template for milling loops is ready. Now all that remains is to attach it to the door frame, set the milling depth, and make several passes back and forth. The groove turns out to be even and clean, it remains only with the help of a chisel, to select the corners in those places where the cutter did not reach. Thus, by spending 30 minutes on making a template, you can save time on inserting loops. I will make a reservation right away, I ask you not to bother aesthetics lovers, since the task was only in one thing, to quickly make a working, and not a beautiful template. That's all, subscribe to the channel, good luck to everyone and see you soon.